Hi guys. Hey, hey. Welcome to my channel. My name is Maya. The camera's shaking. My hair is like getting like literally down here. It's like this is this long. I have a little headband on, but it pretty much shrinks up to about my ears. The back, I pulled a piece down in the back. It was like literally all the way down here. I'm like, yo, my hair is long. Shrinkage is real. I mean, it's also great. It's a sign of healthy hair. So my hair is healthy, aside from some pieces in the front. I actually need a good, like a little cut or a little trim. My skin's looking crazy. I'm having all kinds of skin conditions going on. But I'm in a big mood. And I got a Jerry curl. Jerry curl. <laughs> it's not a Jerry curl, but it's pretty much a Jerry curl. Anyway. So, that said, I'm here to talk about Muesli, okay? Sounds like a, sounds like a, a, a sponsorship. Not yet, we'll get there. I'm here to talk about Muesli. Um, the spot cream, I told you guys I was gonna go on that journey, right? And I'm gonna take you along with me. I got this in the mail yesterday. I was so tired last night. I did not film, I was, my plan was to. But it's okay, I'm doing it now. So I used it this morning and guess what? Good sign, my face was not burning, searing, on fire. You know how I told you before, the other Muesli spot cream formula that I had was not it. When I put it on, my skin would be burning, itching, just feeling weird for like 10 minutes. This feels like nothing. So that's exactly what I wanted to, that, that's the sensation that I was hoping for. So that, there's that. Um, this is the 12% hydroquinone. Y'all know I was on here talking big about hydroquinone. Um, because apparently it can get into your bloodstream. There's all types of like issues with it. But at this point, like, ugh, I, just, I just need to like get my skin looking good. So here's the hoping it doesn't kill me or give me cancer or you know any of that stuff it's not really funny it's actually quite sad anyway so 12 percent hydroquinone two percent ni niacinamide i think that's how it's pronounced one percent hydrocortisone because irritating ingredients actives um and then six percent cholic acid so this this cream feels like nothing going on um so my, my plan is to use it twice a day in the morning and at night. I'm more than likely during the week. Not, no, not more than likely. During the week, I'm not recording what I'm doing in the morning because I'm trying to get ready for work and I'm like, don't feel like doing all this talking. So I'm going to, I am, however, going to try and do this at night, every night. So I'm going to have you guys stay along, along the journey with me. This is my first night using it. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my face. Let's get into it. So like I was telling you, all those, those um, ingredients in this formulation are really good for, um, Dealing with uneven skin tone, hyperpigmentation, melasma, all that. So I'm going to wash my hands. And I did notice when I used it this morning that it was making my skin, like even like with the old formulation, um, it's, it's, not, it's not moisturizing at all. So if you have dry skin, it's, I think it's maybe smart to put something underneath it like if your skin's going to get dry. Because I feel like my skin was, was getting dry. And I'm going to use my sunblock. I put on sunblock today. If I'm going to be using this 12% hydroquinone, I'm not playing about the sunblock. So I have to use sunblock. Um, you know, it's good to use it all day, but especially if I'm going outside. I'm not, I'm not putting sunblock on tonight, but I'm going to sleep. But I am going to put sunblock on during the day when I go outside. So I'm going to wash my hands first, then I'm going to wash my face. Then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I use it. So this is, like, again, my first night. I'm just going to keep using it, like, because it doesn't feel like anything. So, I, so to me, and people say it works, so I'm just going to keep using it. Pay $60 a, a, a month or whatever it is. I think $60 every two months. But I'm, I, I think I'm using more than what they say. They said, well, the little tab that I received in the mail said use a pea-sized amount. No. I use a pea-sized amount boop, 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 on these three sections of my face. So, I, so that's, I, I want to make sure that it's getting in there. And um, I think I also said once a day. No. I'm doing it during the daytime and at nighttime to see how it works. Because I know how... Um, I know how to react to like products like that. I know how to use um, photosensitive or products that make your skin photosensitive. I know the process, which is basically just make sure you wear sunblock <laughs> and a lot of sunblock. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to use the, use the product regularly, day and night. When I wash my face, I wash my face day and night. At least I'm gonna start doing it again now. No joking. Um, wash my face day and night. And I'm gonna use the product every time I do that. So, my face feels so greasy from all this crap I put in my hair. I keep trying to do wash and goes. It's just, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm like, probably wants to get a wig. But I don't know about that either. <laughs> like, I'm just not, I'm not a wig girl. Even though, like, it can be cute. My hair is getting long. I'm so excited about that. But it's just like, I don't know what to do to it. Like, the longer it gets, the more I'm like, what should I do with it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't 
I don't know. I like braid outs, but I'm not doing. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing it every day. I'm not braiding my hair. And I'm braiding it every day. No, that's why I like to leave my hair in braids. But then I don't want to keep my hair in braids for too long because the tension. It's just a whole circle of the cycle. I I don't know. Anyway, let's. I'm gonna go in here for. A let's go ahead and wash my face. So I'm gonna use. A product that I already have that I've used plenty of times. You guys have seen me use it plenty of times. This is the Hawaiian Facial Cleanser Pore Purifying Pineapple Enzyme by Alba Botanical. So I'm going to go ahead and use this just to wash my face. Again, when it comes to skincare stuff, it's not about like, it's not about perfection. It's just about <laughs> consistency. Just with anything in life. I'm like, I'm really telling myself, I'm really honestly telling myself that because some days I'm just like, oh, I can't be bothered with things that I have to do. <laughs> but I'm like, you know what? Just do it. Doing something's better than doing nothing. So even if like you don't want to do it, even if you have A it. Even if you have A do it. Guess what? My alternative is to not do it at all. So I'm gonna have A do it. Or I'm not gonna do it at all. So yeah. Don't I don't that's not good advice, but whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna wash my face. Like I told you guys for um 30 seconds to a minute, wash your face, or however long you can, girl, if you like, look, you're going to get this five seconds and wash it there. I'm going to make sure this stuff is off my face, and that's, that's all I got for you. So that's, that's what you, that's how you're going to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and wash my face for, I'm talking a lot, so I guess for the full 30 seconds to a minute, just to make sure we're getting down in there, getting all the oils off, all this hair products, and just getting all this stuff from the day off. Like I said, my skin is just so... I do not have one of those. I'm not. I don't have one of those, one of those skin types. Look how flat, girl. This hair is driving me nuts. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do with it. Anyway, I don't have one of those skin types where I can just like, oh, do nothing to my face. I have to like my skin is very high maintenance. I have to be on top of it, even if, like I said, even if it's not like me perfectly doing every every um step. But I have to. It, it, when I wash my face twice a day, that's when it looks the best. I've said that before. And if you have problematic high maintenance skin too. Wash your face twice a day, even if you only wash for, for 5, 10, 15 seconds, um, you will notice a difference because high maintenance skin mostly just needs to be clean and cleaned regularly. So, yeah. What is that? I am. And my skin's also like super dry right now, it's winter time. So I started putting like um, a super thick aquaphor type cream over my eyelids because they're, they're so dry. So I need to keep my skin moisturized. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and... Okay. So I'm just going to use a clean little face, woo, cold, little face pad thing to get this product off. These pimples. Ugh, I can like so tempted to just pop it. I'm like, just leave it alone. It'll go away. If you just keep it on top of your skincare, it'll go away and then you'll feel better. Blah. Anyway, let me stop being dramatic and wash this off. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to wash this off. And hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so my face is washed. Like I said, um, if you have dry skin, I would recommend that you put something underneath this. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my rosehip oil. I told you guys I really, really love this. It's really good at keeping your skin moisturized. And I'm gonna use the 5% Pycinogenol. Pycinogenol, I'm gonna use them together. I'm not gonna use a lot because I really do want the um, the spot cream to be able to be as effective as possible. So maybe like four drops of each. A couple drops of the rosehip oil. With like one, two, three drops of this Pycinogenol. Just, just enough to kind of give my skin a little bit of a moisture. Uh, shot and uh, I'm gonna let this absorb into my skin for five minutes and then come back like I always tell you look at the little peak so to me keeping my skin moisturized is very important there's so many like skin issues that arise from just like your skin is dry and I just I'm still on the journey to figuring out how to perfect my skin, <laughs> as I've told you guys many a time. So, it's very important for me to keep my skin moisturized, not just fix the melasma, because if my skin looks dry and dehydrated, it's still going to look bad. So, I'm going to put let this sink into my skin for five minutes and come back and put the spot cream on. So, I've seen a lot of videos, not videos, but I've seen a lot of pictures of what this can do for people. So, I have high hopes 
okay especially because i'm going to be using this regularly and i'm going to keep you guys updated this is going to be in every single skincare routine more than likely from here until my skin is looking how i want it to look so here's hoping that this works so yeah i'm gonna let, let this absorb into my skin for five minutes and then i'll be back okay so i'm also going to tell you guys about i told you that i use the um like a what did i say i told you that i use like an aquaphor type ointment um, around my eyes because the skin around my eyes is so dry so i'm just going to take a little bit of this this is the equate version and just kind of like because the skin on around my eyes is so completely extremely dry and just wipe it around just to kind of make sure my skin stays moisturized because in the winter time dryness is real so same deal i'm gonna let all this absorb into my skin for five minutes and i'll come back and put the muesli on so i'll be back hello y'all so it's been five minutes it's been actually well over five minutes um i don't know like my skin feels good with the rose hip oil and the uh, pisin and all but it doesn't it just still feels dry but i don't want to put too much on my skin because i really want to see what this does okay the main goal is to clear melasma and we're going to use this muesli product because the systemine is cute or whatever like it works it does this thing but to me it, i'd rather use a cream so i'm gonna try this anyway so let's go ahead and put one pump let's turn this way so y'all can so i can you know just my normal my normal angle i'm gonna use one pea-sized amount forehead one here one here so i'm gonna start my forehead pea-sized amount and just rub it into my forehead i'm trying to like duck down because this little stick tripod is so um short i am already like really happy with this formula because it is not make my skin feel gross and itchy and weird and that is like important if i'm going to use something i cannot be dealing with uncomfortable weird sensations like i can't do it another pea size amount don't not already uh, it's a new tube okay another pea size amount on the cheek focusing on like this area which is where i have the discoloration right along this little line right here and then of course bring it out but i want to focus it under my eye alongside my nose right here i'll just rub the rest into my skin all over my face and again bring it down because they said use what piece size amount for your whole face so i'm not trying to you know use a piece size amount for every single part bring it down to my chin i'm just gonna use it all over my face my face 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 all right so like this side of my face is covered and now i'm going to use another pea size amount on this side <laughs> same deal along this little line here where i tend to have like the discoloration close up to my eye and then bring it out and when you're using any kind of like skin evening product you want to use it all over your face just focus it in the areas where you're having the discoloration because discoloration melasma hyperpigmentation all that um it's constantly forming so even if right now it may be bad in one particular area you don't want to treat that area because you want to evenly you know you want all the areas to lighten evenly um if that makes sense you know you don't want to have like a patch that's lighter and then you, you only put it here so then it's like here still have you know still an uneven tone if that makes sense so yeah i am going to just put it all over my face and that's pretty much it now, like I said, that the rosehip oil and that Pisces and John really do a great job of like, it, it, my skin feels very supple, even though it feels kind of dry. I don't really, I don't know. Probably because I honestly I haven't been drinking my water like that. That's why I'm breaking out. You know, my skin's doing bits. I've really been drinking too much soda, and I don't even really drink soda like that. But the balance phases, question marks, I don't know. Um, i trying to get back into drinking water because for a while, like, I really only mostly drink water, but. I don't know y'all, I would just start drinking more soda, so I changed my sweatshirt as you can see because I almost like gross. Anyway, so that's pretty much the it. um that's it for this night. This, this is the first day. So this is the Muse Me Muse Me? Musely the spot cream day one. And I will um come back and do day two, day fifty. Keep you guys updated on what it looks like. Let me get a little close up. Like beforehand, that's what we're looking like. You see all that? That's what we're starting with. So, yeah. Anyway, again my, my, again, my name is Maya. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a good evening and bye.